Hey, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Good, The Bad and The Little Bit Stupid by Marina Livietska. Now, in this particular instance, I think it'd be good to read you the blurb because it sounds hilarious. George is in a pickle. After walking out on his wife to shack up with Brexit Brenda next door, George Panties thinks he's got it made, especially when he wins millions on a Kosovan lottery that he barely remembers entering. Unfortunately, he can't access the money because he's forgotten his password. What is he meant to tell all the forceful people who keep appearing at his doorstep desperate to know his mother's maiden name? The situation is shadier than he thinks and George is in need of rescue. But will his dysfunctional family be able to save him and, in the process, can they save each other? Sounds funny, doesn't it? So let me tell you, when I was reading this book, I struggled to keep reading it. It was horrific. Absolutely horrific. It sounds like it's going to be funny. And I've read, I've read a couple of her books before, including A Short History of Tractors in Ukraine. And I loved them. But this book was horrific. It just wasn't funny. I mean, there was a couple of slightly amusing bits in it, but it was just so unrealistic. I know that as a comedy, it doesn't need to be completely precise, um, but there are so many holes in the book. You would think it was bloody honeycomb or something. It just doesn't make sense a lot of the time. And Marina just uses this book as an excuse to bitch and moan about Brexit. And if you're outside of the UK, maybe perhaps this book would be more interesting because you're not in Brexit. But me and a hell of a lot of people within the nation are sick to death about hearing of Brexit. Honestly, it's at a point now I go to the pub, someone starts talking, I shut them right down. So no, thank you. I don't want to hear it. I have no interest in what you have to say. Because I am so sick of it. And a lot of people feel the same. The idea that if you vote it out, then that means you're racist and you're stupid and you're bigoted. Um, and if you voted in, then you're a Ramona. Oh, give me a bloody break. And she just uses it as an opportunity to also bitch and moan about her opinion of Brexit. Every focus is pretty much going back to Brexit if she ever strays away from it. And it's just shoved down your throat. You feel like you can barely breathe. It was absolutely awful because not only did I have to listen to it for five, ten minutes. No, I had to read it for a whole bloody book. Brexit, Brexit, Brexit. If you voted this, then you're an idiot. Blah, 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 blah. Give me a bloody break. It wasn't funny. It wasn't clever. It was just stupid. I hated it so much that I would actually rather read James Patterson than have to reread this book. In fact, I wasn't even going to finish it. I wasn't going to do a review. And I thought, you know what? I need to do this because I'm trying to do an array of different books. And that's not being true to what I'm doing if, if I didn't. And that's the only reason why I finished it. And that's the only reason why I'm doing this review. She tries to do typical characters as well within Brexit. And they're very thin characters. She doesn't build on them at all. And none of the characters are likeable. Even slightly likeable. Um, I don't really have much else to say about it, to be honest. It was just horrific. And I'm going to rate it a 1 out of 10. I hated it with a passion. And actually, it's quite put me off. thought of reading another one of her books. So as always, if you enjoyed my review, then please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, if you liked my review, then please like and drop me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Have you read the book? Are you going to read the book? I'd love to hear from you. So until next time, bye-bye.